This is Fraser Town's Mosque Road in Bengaluru. Every year, people throng this part of town during the holy month of Ramzan. The reason? Its delicious offerings of exotic meat-based savouries and lip-smacking desserts. And so, we too went on the famous Fraser Town Iftar Food Trail. Our first stop was at the iconic Albert Bakery. The 121-year-old bakery gets super crowded in the evenings during Ramzan. Do not miss their famous goat brain puffs and khoya naan. At Nuri's Kitchen, one can taste authentic Hyderabadi Ramzan special snacks. Shikam puri kebabs and meatballs are among the best items on the menu. All the Hyderabadi cuisine, what is not available over here, and we make it specially, it's all based from home. Last year was the first Ramzan, which was a little bit, people were skeptical, but not much of orders, but orders ticked in. Uh, but this year has been a good for us. After a strong Sulaimani tea, we continue our iftar walk. Delicacies made of beef, rabbit and even camel meat are available at stalls. One cannot miss spotting the popular patthar ka ghosht, where marinated lamb meat is heated on a wide hot granite stone for hours. I'm basically from Bombay, so when I was first in here in Bangalore, a friend of mine suggested that you know you should try Mosque Road during Ramzan. So I had come here and I was uh, mesmerized. I was like, okay, now I don't miss the Muhammad Ali Road in Bombay. But over the period of years, then pandemic hit. So everything was shut and it was quite dry here. Last year also, it was, I mean, 50% of what you can see right now. But this year, it's full-fledgedly on. And a lot of new things have come up. Apart from chicken, beef and mutton, there are stalls serving seafood savouries too. This is Mansoor Ali, founder of the group Bengaluru by Foot, who conducts special iftar walks at Fraser Town. About 20 years ago, someone had the idea of, started, uh, of starting to put up the stalls which used to dole out all the uh, goodies, supposed goodies for Ramzan. So that clicked and everyone started setting up their stalls in front of the restaurants. And uh, today most people from places as far as Whitefield and Ennet City flock to this place to uh, indulge in all the goodies which are served during the whole month. And what brings me, though I'm a Muslim and I'm fasting, what brings me here is some of the delicacies which are served here. Most of, uh, of my workers are non-Muslims, uh, about 95% I can say is that and almost all of them happen to be from outside of Bangalore. And some localites also come, like uh, a few of my own friends who are uh, not sure about what this Ramzan uh, Mela is all about, they also join in my walk. If you come on your own, you can of course be very dissuaded by all the colourful food that's out there, but if you have some guide then it's a lot better so that you can know exactly where the origin was and what the backstory of this entire recipe was and sometimes he tells you which king or which Maharaj or there's some Mughal story or there's some you know uh, Indo-British story behind it and so it's really cool to kind of amalgamate all of that and I think during the festival time everything just comes alive so it's really lovely to just come here and spend some time and uh, taste everything. After relishing all the spicy snacks, the best way to finish the walk is with the glass of Mohabbat Ka Sharbat. 